Hello, my name is Keith Kitts. I've been invited by your professor, Erwin Honico, to conduct a quick review of your logo project. So I'm happy to be here and join you at Purdue University. I'm a designer and educator. I work at Suffolk University here in Boston, where I teach graphic design. I work with seniors and master's students, and I'm also the program director for the master's program. So let's just get right into it. The first uh, logo that I want to review is uh, Rio's, Rio Ricardo. Uh, your logo using the speech bubbles, I think, is really a fantastic idea. Design is all about communication. It's about an interaction exchange of communication between a client and the designer, and also the designer and the audience, and the client and the audience. So this idea of embedding, this idea of conversation inside of your mark, I think is really a successful concept. I also think that your use of typography in a, a bit of a uh, experimental way by swapping out different letter forms for punctuation is really impactful. I think one of the things that you should think about inside of this particular mark is how will this mark scale? And maybe there is an advantage here to having some variants to your mark. So maybe you use the initials of uh, DKV instead of using all of the typography. And then also maybe uh, investigate some more playful lockups in relationship to your speech bubbles and then the Praditya University uh, typeface. But I think overall, this is a really interesting concept and I think that it has definitely a lot of potential to move forward. So I really would uh, encourage you to investigate that and, and investigate some other options here. But I think that this, there's some really nice energy that's happening inside of this mark. So the next mark is by Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed, I think that your mark using these modules of the square make the four squares making a larger connected square is a really strong thinking when it's coming to a university. So from the standpoint of a university brings parts together, you know, brings students together, it brings faculty together, it brings different course structures together, brings different disciplines together. So I think that this idea of bringing these four units together is really smart. One thing that I would encourage you to think about is the legibility of the mark. So currently you have the letters reading from bottom and around, and I think that maybe starting with the D in the top left might be more successful. Also think about how this mark might transition to other things. So how does it live in an application? How might it be animated? That might give you some uh, ways to think about this having more variance. Again, as I said in the previous review, you know, it's very uncommon now that you see static marks inside of design. So it might be one of these things for a project like this to push it further on your side. I know that this was a, a midterm and you probably had a compressed amount of time and probably had some very specific variables that you were following. But now that the work is yours, you know, it's you own this work now that it's outside of this class, maybe look at ways that this could be expanded upon. So maybe there are variant lockups of this mark. Maybe the, uh, the squares stack, maybe they're staggered, maybe they, uh, you know, move in different ways inside of an animation. But I think that there's a really a great amount of potential here and I would encourage you to continue to explore this. But this is, again, the four modules coming into one and the connectivity. I think that that's a really, uh, a very strong way to talk about education and university life. So kudos on that one. So the last mark that I'm reviewing today is by uh, Milan. Uh, I think that this mark does some really smart things as well from the standpoint of it being a, a sister mark or a sibling mark to the Praditya mark, using some of those elements from the Praditya University mark in your own mark and it kind of extending the brand through existing assets or through legacy assets, I think is a very smart idea. And it's a very, uh, a very not always a common idea, but a, a, a a useful idea from the standpoint of connectivity between marks. So you have to think about when you're making 
a mark for a component inside of a universe, you have to think about how it's going to live with other existing elements. So in this case, you know, you're using these legacy parts from the original mark or the, the sort of the mother mark, I think is really a, a smart idea. One thing that I think that, that you should think about inside of your making is the repetition of the, the angle that you use for the K and then making it the V. I don't know that you need to repeat this. I think that, you know, the mark is already abstract. You know, it's already a collection of, of basically it's a collection of three symbols that you're putting together. And it is something that communicates about a part of the university that is about, you know, more abstract thinking, more progressive thinking. So maybe you allow it to become more iconic and, and worry less about it being uh, a strategy of being legible as typography, as the individual letter forms. Certainly those of us who are visual people will certainly see this is, you know, three letter forms, a D, K, and a V. But people who are outside of the visual spectrum or the visual realm of thinking, you know, may just see it as something that is iconic. And I think that that's okay. Certainly marks can work on different levels and work in different ways for different viewers. The, the real goal here is that this is going to be something that they identify as linking to the visual part of the program at Pradithia and Pradithia. So I think that you're already doing that through the fact that you're using those legacy elements. So again, for the three of you and for the entire class, I think that the work that was shared with me, all of it was really interesting and really impactful. I want to, uh, really comment on the fact and, and underline the fact that it was great to see multiple students working in multiple voices. So none of you were really doing the same thing. None of you, uh, it, it never felt like anyone inside of the group was, you know, t thinking the same way. You were all had an individual voice and you all had individual avenues that you were trying to think about this mark. Uh, an additional comment for the entire class, and I made this comment inside of some of the individual critiques, but for the entire class, is to think about how your mark is going to live in the world. We're no longer in a space where you can have a sort of a one and done stamped singular identity. Identities have to move, identities have to live in a variant of different channels. So they have to live on applications, they have to live on websites, they have to live in advertising that is often moving and not static. So think about how when you're making these marks, even if you're not hired to do all of those different variants, it's important to think about in the initial making how it would live in those different places because it's going to allow your mark and your making to have the most flexibility and also the most longevity in the long and uh, over time and in the long run. So I want to thank Erwin for inviting me, Professor Hernico for inviting me in. I want to thank Pradithia University for uh, you know having me uh, speak to you today. And certainly, if you have questions or if you want some additional feedback, feel free to contact me through your professor. Uh, I wish you all continued success and uh, you know stay well and uh, continue to push your creativity. Thank you so much for having me. Continued success.